What's up guys, Next Gen Tech here, and uh, well, welcome to my new YouTube channel. Uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to replace the RAM on your 2022 RLG Zephyrus G14, uh, as well as benchmarks to show the performance difference between the two configurations. Now, I purchased the base model G14, uh, and I was actually lucky enough to get it from Best Buy open box in like new condition for just over a thousand bucks after tax and shipping. And I expect many of you will be getting a similar deal uh, this holiday season with it only going for ten ninety nine. And with that being said, cue the intro. Take a breath before my ego pop. Play a set like I'm a handmade prop. So the model I chose to go with is equipped with a Ryzen 9 6900HS CPU, a Radeon RX 6700S GPU, 1TB of M.2 NVMe storage, and 16GB of RAM. But about a week ago, I decided I wanted to upgrade the RAM from that base configuration of 16GB of DDR5 4800 to 24GB of DDR5 4800. And in this video, I'll be taking you guys along to show you just how to do that. So first, obviously, if you haven't already, make sure you save whatever you're doing and shut down your system. Next, you'll need a decently small Phillips head screwdriver and something thin and sharp. As you can see, I'll be using a common household item, which you should have in your household, a thumbtack. Now use your insert blank thin and sharp object to gently pry up the three rubber pads in the middle of the back plate and stick them somewhere safe. Next, you want to remove the 11 screws securing the back plate and set them aside also in a safe place. Now, I repair electronics for a living, so I have a rather good habit of placing screws on the table in the same layout as they were when they were screwed in. And I'm sure you could guess why, and I highly suggest you do the same. Anyways, once you get to the screw on the bottom right of the back plate, you'll notice the screw won't come all the way out. However, the reasoning for this is pretty genius, and I wish Apple would implement such a feature on their MacBook line so I could stop cutting my hands pulling on their terrible slide to remove approach while trying to do battery replacements. But this screw, when unfastened, will pry up the back plate for you and create a little gap just big enough to fit your fingertips in between to make it incredibly easy to move, just like so. The stick I'm using to perform this upgrade is essentially the 16GB version of the same 8GB module that came stock, but as you can see, has twice the amount of RAM chips. This is because on this model, which you may know if you've done your research, has 8GB of its total 16GB soldered to the logic board. So, to play it safe, I got the same manufacturer and speed as the original to avoid any possible compatibility issues. Um, now, first thing you want to do, if possible, when opening any electronic device is unplug the battery. And you do that by sliding the little metal clip straight back, then grabbing from both sides. Gently lift the battery connector straight up and just remove it to the side so it's out of the way. To remove the RAM, just lift up the black film sitting on top of it, then push the two clips on either side of the PCB outwards until the RAM springs up. Next, you'll grab your new module, make sure the notch on the inside of the connector is lined up with the notch on the PCB, then slide it in and push it down until you get a click on both sides. Reconnect the battery to the logic board, then slide the metal clip back towards the connector. After that, you're pretty much done. Just screw in the back plate, and then if you want to return your system to its former glory, you can replace the three same rubber pads back in their respective positions. I can say the pads should still be sticky enough to remain safely in place, Although, you can put a tiny dab of glue on the top of the screw before setting it down, but I really wouldn't do that unless you don't plan on opening your system again anytime soon. Now, technically, I think this system can support up to 40 gigabytes of RAM, but personally, I think that's just a bit overkill for my use case. Uh, I had just seen that a small handful of programs I use and games I play were getting dangerously close to 16 gigabytes of RAM usage, so I decided to get a little upgrade in order to future-proof myself a bit. Um, and then after that decision, I decided to start a YouTube channel and make a video about the process and to show the performance gains if there were any. Now, when you go to turn your system back on, you'll need to connect it to the AC adapter. And it will because like most modern day laptops no longer have dedicated CMOS batteries like you might see on a desktop motherboard. So when you unplug the battery, the system will perform a quick post check just as it did the first time you turn it on, taking a moment or so before it actually starts to boot into Windows. And just like that, you're done. Now, for those of you who have yet to perform this upgrade, here are some of the performance gains you should expect to see when uh, performing this upgrade. Cue the benchmarks.
Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and if there are any other tests or comparisons on this laptop that you'd like me to make a video about, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys would like to see some phone or game console repair videos, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.